Can you tell us a little about the people that had special devotions to the rosary, for example, like John Paul II? Yes, very beautiful. There are, of course, hundreds of thousands of saints, uh, some of many of whom we don't know, many of whom we know. So you mentioned, for example, Pope John Paul. Now let me tell you this example. I, I spent about 12 years in Rome. I lived in Rome for 12 years and had the opportunity of meeting Pope John Paul many times personally. And I remember several occasions, uh, audiences, personal audiences, when I was being introduced to the Holy Father. And the Holy Father, uh, several times actually, gave me personally a rosary. So I keep those rosaries as a great treasure. And um, I remember one audience, it was the audience of the Roman clergy, the Roman priests and, and deacons who were invited on February 22nd, um, 1994, I believe. And we went there, and I remember I watched the Holy Father's hands, and he went into the pocket of his cassock, you know, his white dress. And I saw under the table, people were talking, and there were addresses and speeches being given. And everybody noticed how his hand went into his cassock, I remember vividly. And then he pulled out his little rosary and he hid it in his hand and he was praying during the audience, you could tell. He was, while other people were talking, he was listening, but at the same time he was praying the rosary. Now I could give you the example of so many other saints, like for example Padre Pio. Padre Pio was never seen without a rosary in his hand. Now let me show you the rosary. I will, I'll come back on the rosary maybe uh, to show you a few more things about how to pray it. But here as you see the rosary, uh, Padre Pio, uh, a man who also was carrying in his body the stigmata, the wounds of Christ, uh, he was never seen without a rosary. So there are many saints who prayed the rosary nonstop and never stopped praying the rosary. But again, you know, there are so many other uh, examples of saints. Mother Teresa of, okay, my last example uh, for this question. Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Have you heard of Blessed Mother, Mother Teresa of Calcutta? The, this uh, good woman who helped so many poor and dying people in India, in Calcutta. Now again, I, I, I had two audiences with Mother Teresa. Once she came to Rome and she talked to, at the Indian College, the College of Indian Students from India. And uh, the place was packed, over 5,000 students, so they installed some maxi screens outside so that students could watch her from outside, those who couldn't make it into the hall. And then I remember you couldn't see her, she was so small. So, <laughs> so once she came up to the podium, you could only see the top of her head, she was so, t so small. But then the first thing she said in front of over thousands of students, she was holding up her rosary and she said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord. So she began her talk to all those young people by saying a Hail Mary. And, and then everybody joined her, and then they were impressed that she would say no other word. The first word was, Hail Mary, full of grace. So again, a beautiful question, and yes, there are many, many saints who have prayed the rosary every day of their lives. Yes. Can you share with us a story from your past that shows how the rosary affects people? Yes, I... Um, personally, you asked me a very personal question. I would say, after 16 years of being a priest, um, you hear many confessions. So you priests listen to confessions of people, and we're not really allowed to talk about them, especially if you know the person. So there's a secret you are not allowed. There's a seal of confession. So nobody can ever ask the priest, what did uh, my mother what did my father, what did my friend or anybody else confess? But in general, we can say something about how people uh, come and how they talk through the priest to Jesus. And I'm certainly a witness of thousands of people who come and say, you know, Father, ever since I pray the rosary alone with my uh, husband, with my wife, with my children and my family or in a prayer group, my life has changed for the better. And uh, definitely people come and they say, you know, Father, my life has changed so much ever since you recommended, you know, like, for example, praying the rosary every day. And there's so much blessing now in my life. So personally, I, I'd like to share with you that um, I grew up in a family. We didn't have a television at home, but my, my parents were very devoted to the Blessed Mother. And my earliest childhood memories are very simple. At night, 
my dad, who never really talked about religion, and my mother too, my mother talked a little bit more, but my dad didn't really talk much about religion. I remember them kneeling down in our living rooms, and then my, I saw them holding the rosary. They never really told us, you know, pray the rosary, pray the rosary. But it was just the example of my parents, ever since I was a small child, that um, made me understand how important the prayer was. I remember my parents, before we retired for the night, we prayed the rosary together. And we as kids just naturally, we joined them. It was just natural because my, my mom and my dad did it. So I joined them. And then we grew up just praying the rosary every evening. And the result of it is this, that my the inner circle of my family, my parents who are still living, and my, my three sisters and their uh, sons and daughters, my nephews and nieces, all of them are all practicing good Catholics uh, today, and they all preserve the faith, and they're all happy, you know, to be members of the church. So finally, I would say, uh, the question was, you know, a, a personal example. Well, the example is that if a person perseveres and keeps praying the ro keeps on praying the rosary uh, for years and years, the person is definitely blessed uh, from heaven and by the Blessed Mother. Very beautiful. What are the promises that Mary gave to those who pray the rosary? Yes, you know, I know of uh, many promises. Just as the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus has many promises for those who cultivate the devotion to the heart of Christ. But especially the rosary carries so many promises that they are almost like all-inclusive. It includes all. But I want to tell you a few. We know from the lives of the saints that the rosary has a strong power over hell, the devil, Satan, and the evil angels. And in fact, the other day I read in a little book on the rosary um, that there is a promise of Our Lady that those who pray the rosary will be protected from any evil onslaught and, and attack fr uh, from hell. But let me tell you a few more promises. They are so beautiful. First of all, the Blessed Mother says that people who pray the rosary will preserve the faith. Very important. There are many people who lose their faith today. But those who pray the rosary will be able to preserve their faith. Secondly, as we say so many times, a person that says 50 times per day, now and in the hour of my death, what does that mean? Doesn't that mean that we ask our Blessed Mother in heaven to be with us in the hour of our death and to bring Jesus and St. Joseph along and to be with us, assist us in the hour of our death? So the promise goes, people who pray the rosary will have a special blessing, special protection in the hour of their death, which is the most important hour of our life, right? The, the hour of dying is the most important hour of our whole life. But in addition to that, people like Alphonsus of Liguri said, families who pray together stay together. That's an important promise today, as we are living in times where so many parents split apart, so many people divorce, so many children are disunited from their families, families break apart. So that's a promise that is of great value. But they are promise, promises that are really all-inclusive. Like, for example, you will have special blessings, special protection, special grace. Whatever you ask for will be given to you. And uh, so for life and death, all the promises, that, all, the, all the, the desires that you could ever have about being a good Catholic, somebody who loves uh, Jesus in life and in death, and to live and die in the state of grace, all of those will be given to those who pray the rosary. Very good.